Hello, Zachary Dodge here for KGCS TV. If you were on campus earlier this semester, you probably noticed an abnormally large number of emergency vehicles surrounding the Health Sciences Building. And you may have even noticed a helicopter or two land in the same area. But don't worry, there wasn't any form of actual emergency. The High Flyers were on campus for the EMS Department's training program on how to establish a helicopter landing zone. On March 2nd, the EMS Department opened the viewing of the training exercise to the public for the first time. And you better believe someone from KGCS was there to cover the action. But you're probably tired of looking at me. You came here to see some awesome aircraft. Well, here you go. Prepare for landing. On March 2nd, the Missouri Southern State University EMS Department held its helicopter fly-in and open house a landing zone preparation course for students in the Advanced Paramedic Skills course. The event, which was open to the public for the first time, included a training course on how to establish a landing zone. It also included opportunities for students to speak with potential employers from around the region. Students and Joplin residents watched with excitement as four Life Flight helicopters touched down between the Health Sciences Building and the Leggett and Platt Athletic Center. The paramedic students were also shown some of the aspects of landing a helicopter and approaching a helicopter by a pilot from Air Methods. Thad Torix, EMS instructor and clinical coordinator, says he wanted the event to be both educational and exciting. So what's happening here today is three different things actually. It's landing zone training for our students and they will be exposed to four different uh, air medical helicopters uh, here in the Joplin region as well as one from Springfield. Uh, they're also having the opportunity to be exposed to several employers in the area where they get to talk to people that are looking to hire paramedics maybe on their fire department or ambulance service. There's actually some law enforcement recruiters here as well uh, in representation from a couple of different health centers. Uh, and the last thing here is just for the public to be able to see what's going on inside the health sciences building. Um, primarily we're focusing on the EMS department of course, but there's other programs going on in this building that uh, we're happy to show off a little bit if we can. Okay, and uh, could you walk us through the steps of the exercise? Sure. Uh, the first portion is a lecture portion. They spend about 45 minutes to an hour in lecture. Uh, when that lecture is over, they go out to the aircraft and they learn some of the basics, just safety information. Where's the oxygen kept? Where's the fuel? Uh, what do they need to know about setting up the actual landing zone before the helicopter gets there? Uh, and they get to interact with those crew. Uh, they get to find out what's it going to be like whenever that helicopter crew comes to take my patient. What questions do they, are they going to ask me? And how will that benefit them in the future? Oh gosh, uh, any EMS system utilizes uh, helicopter EMS pretty frequently the, the further away you get from a larger city. And so they leave the, here with the understanding of when is it appropriate to call for an aircraft and when should we just wait and kind of transport uh, on our own by grid. Okay, and uh, what is the hardest part about sending up a helicopter landing zone? You know, I think the hardest part is probably just making that call. When is it time to call for a helicopter? and when should I wait and take them by email. Uh, after that is obviously selecting a, an appropriate landing zone where there's enough room for the air, aircraft to land uh, and not too many hazards around to allow them to land safely. In every part of emergency services, uh, our first job is safety. Okay, all right, well thank you very much. For more information about the Missouri Southern State University EMS Department, contact Thad Torix at 417-625-3013. Okay, even I have to admit I wanted to jump in for a ride. I hope you enjoyed this special presentation on KGCS. Be sure to stay tuned for the next great program. Once again, I'm Zachary Dodge for KGCS TV, Digital Channel 22. Thanks for watching.